more memorials to World War II, Saltby Airfield. Looks like the Douglas C-47s flew from here. It's like an old air raid shelter at Saltby Airfield. Saltby Airfields now used by the gliding club. If hang around a bit, they might even see one taking off. It's a penultimate stage of my biking way walk. It's coming up the biking way to visit Skillington. There's supposed to be a, a mountaineering story there to check out. Definitely. See the fork tail just then. Fantastic, that's what we've been waiting for. Sure that's a red car. There's that story, Charles Hudson, Vicar of Skillington, him and his pals, the first people to climb the Matterhorn. Unfortunately, they had an accident on the way down and perished. The church has got some stained glass windows of the Matterhorn. Just left Skillington, we're on Buckminster Lane, heading back to the Viking Way. Just having a look around on this countryside. The track we're following. There's the boys from the gliding club getting a tow. Still walking along the drift, but the track really is a mess. Just having a pan round. That's the village of Thistleton in the distance. And when I reach there, I'm definitely in the county of Rutland, as it's its most northerly village. Just left Thistleton, got about two and a half miles left to greet them. We've had a great day, and I've even seen my red kite. And then I was chuffed that the church was open in Skillington, so I could show you that mountaineering story. Slightly to my right is the air base at Con Cottesmore. 
we're well into the county of Rutland now and this is where Julia Bradbury used to reside and she was the one who inspired me to go into walking after watching her Wayne Wright walks programs. This is very nearly the end of my part 14 of my Viking Way walk. Catch us next time when it's the final leg and we finally get to Oakham. <laughs>